In this video, let's explore how you can use Wati's WhatsApp flow feature. With this feature, you can create simple input based forms for various use cases such as lead generation, feedback and more. Let's say you run a dental clinic and want to collect leads after a customer shows interest in booking an appointment with you. You can create a lead generation form through WhatsApp flow to collect the important information related to the booking. Before you start creating the flow, it is important to first create the chatbot where you want to embed the flow to collect the leads. In this case, you can create a chatbot and set up a keyword action that triggers when a customer shows interest in booking an appointment with your clinic. To create a WhatsApp flow for your business, you can first go to automations and now click on WhatsApp flows here. Currently, as you can see, there are two predefined templates, lead generation and feedback form. You can edit any of these templates to create a new flow or duplicate the existing template to build a new flow. Let's create a lead generation form for this example. You can name the flow here. Now save and continue. Now it's time that you customize the flow as per the details that you want to collect from the customers. After you add the content for the screen title and all the other details that you want to collect from the customers, you can add a content for the button as well. Now this is how the form would look like to customers when they click on this button in the chat. If you want, you can also drag and drop the options here. In case if you want to mark important details as required, you can click on this. And if you want, you can also delete any of these from here. If you click on this add content here, you can add more content from here. Now finally, when your flow is ready, you can publish it. Now it's time that you set up the chatbot. You can select the chatbot that you created for this WhatsApp flow to collect the information from the customers. As you can see, this chatbot starts with a welcome message followed by a question, which date would you like to book your appointment? And now it gives option for the available time slots. Now at this stage, you can add your WhatsApp flow. You can click on WhatsApp flows here. After this, you can double click on this to edit it. Here you can add some body text and scroll down to add the button text as well. Now it's time that you select the flow which you created, that is dental booking confirmation flow. When everything is done here, you can save it. To collect all the responses that customers give, you can save them in your Google spreadsheet. Now you can double click on this to connect your Google spreadsheet. If you have not signed in with your Google account, you can do that. And from here, you can select the spreadsheet that you created to collect the responses from the WhatsApp flow. After this, you can select sheet one here. And now it's time that you map all the row values with the variables for the WhatsApp flow. The first variable for this would be dental booking confirmation flow screen zero text input zero. Now add the second cell here. In this case, the text input would be one. For this, the text input would be two, as you can see here. And finally, you can add the last row here. For this, the text input would be three. After you're done here, you can save the changes. Now you can save this chatbot. And if you want, you can also test this chatbot by scanning this QR code here. As you can see through this chatbot, when customers fill their details in the WhatsApp flow here, all the answers will be collected in your Google spreadsheet like this.